Welcome back. Well, today we're going to study these situations, what we call extremes. Have you ever experienced extremes? Have you ever gone to extremes? Or have you ever survived the ordeal, like, you know, Songsu Bridge is broken down and, you know, if you were there, you know, if the bridge has broken right before you, well, it might have been some kind of ordeal that you experienced, or if you just, you know, were in the river, okay, under the bridge, and you were saved dramatically, that can be like an extreme for you, right? Uh, through those ex extremes that we experience from time to time, hopefully not that often though, uh, well, we feel that how life is important and precious, right? Well, uh, here are two people who experience, who have gone to that extremes, and they are talking about their ex experiences, what they have experienced in the past to us. Well, looking back, mm, we hear that, oh, that must have been really horrible. But, you know, it's, you know, a little exciting because, uh, you know, listening to the extremes, it's not that easy for us who are living a very cozy and easy life, you know. So uh, it's from time to time very advent adventurous stories is very exciting. 어 uh, 그래서 사람들이 뭐 K2라든지 크리퍼 행어라든지 이런 거 보는 거 같아요. 그래서 뭔가 이렇게 excite, excitement 이런 걸 느낄 수 있잖아요. 오케이 okay, 자 그러면 오늘의 그 상황 속에서 여러분께서 이미 그 문제를 풀어보신 것과 이렇게 연관이 된 건데요. 자, 그 어, 전체적으로 들어보신 부분에 대해서 문제를 한번 풀어보도록 하겠습니다. Okay, you think you are ready? Okay, then uh, why don't we go to number three together? 네, number three로 함께 가도록 하겠습니다. Okay, uh, what we have to do now is we have to listen to Simmons. Okay, Simmons experience and answer the questions. Okay, why don't we listen to the first part of this? this story, okay? All right, let's listen. Well, it was when I was living in Cairo, and it was in the middle of the summer, so it was extremely hot, between 40 and 45 degrees centigrade, and um, stupidly, we decided to go dancing. And um, we went to this nightclub, and we must have danced for hours and hours. It was very hot inside, and we were sweating profusely. And by the time we came out, it was about five o'clock in the morning. And we decided, oh, wouldn't it be a great idea to go to the pyramids and see the sunrise? <laughs> so we jumped in a taxi, and the taxi was quite stuffy and hot. Um, and we must have been starting to dehydrate at this point. Anyway... We got to the pyramids, and the sun was just starting to come up. And in Egypt, as soon as the sun comes up, the temperature rises dramatically. But we were so excited at seeing the pyramids that we decided just to, um, <laughs> to go and walk and see. At this point, um, a man approached us and asked us if we wanted to borrow his motorcycle, or rent his motorcycle, and we said yes. Wow, they are very energetic. Uh, 한, 나이가 어떻게 되는지 모르겠지만요. May, maybe early 20s, I guess. They are so energetic. I cannot believe they danced and danced and danced for hours and after they, they wanted to go to see the pyramids. <gasps> wow! 아니, 그 춤을 몇 시간이나 추면요. 대부분, oh, we easily get exhausted. How about you? Well, even uh, one hour of dancing, that can exhaust me. <laughs> <laughs> 네, 저는 한 시간 정도 춤춰도 막, 어, 막 너무 힘든데요. You know, after dancing for hours, they went out to see the pyramids. Isn't that really amazing? 아마 젊은 사람인 분들인 것 같아요. 20대 초반, 그죠? 힘이 팔팔할 때. Okay, anyway, uh, so why don't we go to number one? Number one으로 한번 가보도록 하겠습니다. The question number one is this. Where was she? 네, Simone, Simone이 어디 있었냐면요. Well, Oh, uh, it was when I was living in Cairo. Cairo, where is Where's Cairo? Cairo is in Egypt, right? So she was living in Egypt. Um, Cairo, to be exact, 정확하게 얘기하면 Cairo에서 이제 살고 있었죠? So number one, the answer for number one is Cairo. It's very simple. If you just didn't miss the first part of this story, you can solve this very easily. Okay, and why don't we go to number two? Number two. What was the temperature? Oh, it was extremely hot. Okay, let's say 
and it was in the middle of the summer. Just think about it. Egypt in Africa continent, right? Egypt is in Africa continent, and it was summer. Oh, 아프리카에서 여름이면 얼마나 더울까요, right? 어 uh, 정확하게 얘기하자면 얼마였냐면, and it was in the middle of the summer, uh, so it was extremely hot between 40 and 45 degrees centigrade. Oh, 40도에서 45도씨. If it's over 30 centigrade, right? 30 degrees centigrade, 만 넘어도요. Oh, it's really, really hard for us to breathe. 숨쉬기, 숨쉬기도 굉장히 힘들거든요. 근데 it's between like 40 and 45 degrees centigrade. Oh, it's extremely hot, right? Okay, so um, you can simply answer between 40 and 45 degrees centigrade for number two. And number three, what did she do that was stupid or silly? <laughs> Young people sometimes do something very crazy from time to time. 젊은 사람들이 약간 좀 silly한 얘기도 많이 하잖아요, 그죠? 자, 그런데 뭘 했냐면은 이게 젊은 혈기에 그랬었던 것 같아요. What they did was uh, they went to the nightclub. Nightclub에 갔어요, okay? And they danced for hours and hours. They danced for hours. 몇 시간 동안 춤을 췄죠? And 몇 시간 됐는지 알았어? It was like 5 o'clock in the morning. 아침 5시까지 춤을 춘 거예요. Maybe the nightclub is open until 7 or 8 in the morning. So if it's a 6 o'clock or 5 o'clock, I don't think it's a nightclub anymore. It's like a morning club. <laughs> 하지만 그 5 o'clock까지는 이제 동의 안될 수도 있으니까요. It's a still nightclub. Okay, anyway. Mm, so uh, she danced until 5 o'clock and with her friends. 친구들이랑 이제 그 뭐라고 얘기했냐면 그대로 얘기한 거 제가 흉내 낼게요. Oh, wouldn't it be great idea to go to the pyramids and see the sunrise? 네, 이렇게 얘기한 거예요. So, wouldn't it be great? 야, 이거 정말 좋은 아이디어 아니겠니? 뭐가요? 어, 우리 나가가지고 피라미드에 가가지고 한번 sunrise를 보는 거예요. Sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset. 아주 멋있잖아요, 그죠? 아, 근데 이때까지 이제 에너지가 남아있었던 거죠. So, oh, wouldn't it be great idea? 이거 정말 좋은 아이디어 아니겠니? 자, 뭐가요? To go to the pyramids and see the sunrise. 피라미드까지 가서 sunrise를 보는 것은 좋은 아이디어가 아니겠니? 라고 얘기를 한 거예요. Okay, so what did they want to do? 자, 뭘 하기를 원했습니까? They did, what did she do that was stupid or silly? Well, okay, first of all, she went to the nightclub in, this, in that hot weather. And she danced for hours. And she decided to go to the pyramids to see the sunrise. That is stupid. 그게 멍청한 거죠, 그죠? <웃음> 멍청하고 silly한 거죠. 왜냐면은 she should have thought that she might get dehydrated. 어, 그 dehydrate 하면요, 수분이 그냥 쭉 빠져나가서 탈수 현상이거든요. 탈수 현상이 있을 수 있다라는 것도 생각했어야 되는 건데요. In that hot weather, that's something that you shouldn't do. Okay? So after dancing for hours, you have to drink enough fluid. And what you have to do is you have to take a rest. Okay? Okay. And then, uh, 그래가지고 지금 여기서 she decided to go dancing. 춤추러 간 것도 잘못됐죠. Dance for hours. 쉬지 않고 몇 시간 동안 다섯 시까지 춤, 춤춘 것도 잘못됐죠. And got dehydrated. 탈수가 됐어요. Okay? So this is what she did. And it, is, it can be considered stupid and silly. Okay? And why don't we go to number four? What kind of transportation did she use? So in order to go to the pyramid, 피라, 피라미드까지 가는데요. She took a taxi. So uh, she and her friends uh, took a taxi, and it was very stuffy. 무슨 이렇게 찜통 같이 그냥 끈적끈적하고 그냥 아주 그 더웠어요. And she went all the way to the pyramids, and there was a man who had this motorcycle, and he suggested. Uh, why don't I rent you my motorcycle? This is what the guy said. And they said, yes! And then they rode on this motorcycle to go all the way to the pyramids, right? Okay, and they're lost in the middle of the desert. Oh, no. So, okay, um, to answer number five, uh, number four, what kinds of transportation did they use? They used taxi and motorcycle. So two kinds of transportation. And uh, the next one is, where was she going to and why? Well, where was she going? She was going to the pyramids. Pyramids are 가려고 그랬어요. Why? Because she wanted to see the sunrise, sunset. No, 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 not sunset, but sunrise. 태양이 뜨는 것을 보고 싶었기 때문이죠. Oh, 
굉장히 멋있을 것 같기는 해요. Right? That would be really, really awesome to see the sunrise uh, around the pyramids, right? So, shh, just think about it. But, 춤췄다는 걸 알았어요. <laughs> 그죠? She used too much energy before that. So, I think she should have rested at home instead of going to going all the way to the pyramid. Okay, anyway, so um, she wanted to go to the pyramids because she wanted to see the sunrise. And the next question is number six, right? Uh, what did she see when she arrived? Well, uh, when she arrived, well, her attempt was not like a mistake or anything because she actually saw the sun rising. So when she got there, when she arrived, the sun started to rise. Ooh, right? So she saw this sunrise. The sunrise is forget in Goshicho. Okay, so um, here we got to the pyramids and the sun was just starting to come up. So they exactly saw the sunrise. Sunrise is 정확하게 이제 보게 된 것이 되겠죠. Okay, and uh, why don't we go to the next question? The next question is number seven. Who did she meet? Was this person helpful? Well, I told you before when I mentioned about motorcycle. Uh, okay, 자 여기서 이렇게 그 나와 있습니다. Okay. Uh, and in Egypt, as soon as the sun comes up, the temperature rises dramatically. Uh, 태양이 떠오르자마자 그 굉장히 온도가 많이 올라가요. So it will be hotter and hotter, right? Uh, so 그 시간이 지남에 따라서 as time goes by, it will be hotter and hotter after the sun rises. 그렇게 되는 거죠, 그죠? And then, uh, well, um, only to find after the 10, 15 minutes that the motorcycle, oh, no, 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 not this one, a man here. At this point, um, a man approached us and asked us if we wanted to borrow his motorcycle or rent his motorcycle, and we said yes. So, um, who did they meet? Oh, they met a guy who had this motorcycle, okay? And uh, he asked, oh, do you want to borrow my motorcycle? Should I rent you my motorcycle? This is what he said, and they said yes, which means they're willing to borrow his motorcycle, right? Okay, mm, and for the next question of number seven, number seven is the time question, yeah. Was this person helpful? Well, we need to find out after uh, by listening to the latter part of the story, okay? So, this story, it was kind of a horrible incident. 이 남자를 만난 것은 horrible incident 했어요. Okay, why don't we listen to the rest of the story? So my friend and I, we jumped onto the motorcycle and raced out into the desert, only to find after about 10, 15 minutes that the motorcycle was pretty old and suddenly it broke down. <laughs> so we were miles from anywhere and had to push this motorcycle to get back. I was the one at the back pushing the motorcycle, and of course I was using lots of energy. I was losing a lot of fluid, and it was getting hotter and hotter. Anyway, by the time we got home, um, I, I did start to feel a bit strange. I had a slight headache, and um, I decided to go straight to bed. Anyway. I woke up about half an hour later, feeling pretty confused and sick, a little nauseous, and I realized that my brain wasn't working properly, and that, in fact, I probably had heat exhaustion. Anyway, it wasn't very pleasant, and uh, it was a lesson in what not to do in temperatures like that. I've never done that again, and I always carry my salt tablets with me now. Well, 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 very unfortunate incident happened. And what was that? Well, after they rented the motorcycle, they raced out into the desert. And suddenly, after 10 to 15 minutes of riding the motorcycle, it broke out. <gasps> oh no, in the middle of the desert. So they were miles from nowhere, <laughs> anywhere. They didn't know. They were lost. Well, so they didn't know what to do. What they did is uh, she pushed the motorcycle all the way back in that hot weather. Just think about it. She overused her energy, right? Oh, well, uh, it's kind of a tragedy for her and her friend. 
isn't that right? So uh, we can get the answer for uh, the letter letter question of number seven. Was this person helpful? The man turned out to be evil. <laughs> 아주 사악한 뭐 일부러 그런 건 아니지만요. 정말 he was not helpful at all, right? Because the motorcycle was not in good shape. 어, 뭐 제대로 된 모러, 모러사이클을 빌려줘 써야죠 그러려면 In the middle of the desert, just think about it. Oh, it's really horrible. Okay, anyway, why don't we go to the next question? The next question is number nine, uh, number eight. How did temperature affect her? Oh, okay. Uh, first of all, she was dehydrated. 그죠? Dehydrated 했었죠. So she became dehydrated and she lost energy and what else? Then when she back home, 집에 돌아왔을 때, she felt strange, uh, right? <laughs> so I'm not myself, I don't know. She was not herself, so she felt very, very strange. And she had this headache and she fell asleep. 좀 잠을 자고 나니까, when she got up, 나아졌을까요? No, no, no. She was not recovered at all. Even after sleeping, you know, I don't know how much she slept, but, you know, even after sleeping enough, uh, when she got up, she felt headache, she was confused, and she felt sick, and she was nauseous. Nauseous, you know, uh, she felt like throwing up, uh, right? So, uh, she didn't feel well at all. And, you know, she had this heat exhaustion. So, 거의 열사병으로 그 굉장히 힘들었었죠, 그죠? 이런 경험을 하게 된 것입니다. And the last question, which is number nine, is this, what happened in the end? Well, Everything is kind of a lesson to be learned. So at that time, it was kind of frustrating experience. But looking back, oh, wow, you can be really happy, you know, thinking back, right? 그 당시를 다시, 다시 생각하면서도 이렇게 재밌게 웃을 수 있잖아요. So um, she says that she learned a lesson, what to do in that kind of hot weather. So 그렇게 날씨가 더울 때, in such high temperatures, what not to do, 뭘 하지 말아야 되는지를 배운 거예요. 그죠? 모든, you know, 과정에 있어서, you know, everything, every mistake is kind of a trial and an error. And, you know, eventually you learn some lessons from those mistakes of the past, right? However hard it was, well, uh, it can be like a positive experience after all, if you learned something from it. This is what I'm thinking. <웃음> 제가 생각하고 있는 것이 바로 이제 긍정적으로 생각하면 모든 것이 레슨이 된다. 라는 그런 얘기가 되겠죠. 자, 좋습니다. 그래서 she learned a lesson. 그녀가 레슨을 배웠다. 라고 볼 수가 있겠죠. So, it was a lesson, she said. Uh, in what not to do. 어떤 일을 하지 말아야 될 것인지에 대한 레슨을 배웠습니다. And temperatures like that, in such high temperatures. 자, 그럴 때는 uh, you always have to carry salt tablets. Salt tablets 를 가지고 다녀야 된다는 것도 알게 된 거죠. Okay, so she always carries salt tablets now in hot weather. 날씨가 더우면 은 dehydration을 받기 위해서 she carries salt tablets now. So this is something that she learned. Okay, anyway, now we go to uh, another story, another experience, another extremes. 자, 우리 애나의 경험으로 이제 한번 가보도록 하겠습니다. 우리 똑같은 그 패턴의 그 퀘션을 같이 넘버 1부터 9까지 할 텐데요. 이야기가 똑같은 패턴으로 이제 진행이 됩니다. Okay, so uh, we're going to solve from number 1 to number 5 by listening to the first part of the story. Okay, are you ready? Okay, good. Let's listen to the first part of the story of Anna. The time that I was very, very cold um, was a time when I was working in Russia, in a small town in central Russia, and I was going to see some friends who lived on the outskirts of the town. And they were worried about me getting lost, and they said that they'd come to the tram stop to meet me. But I wanted to be independent, so I told them, don't be silly, of course I'll find it. And on the day of the visit, um, it was very, very cold. It might have been minus 30, but it might have been colder than that. And um, it was. It was so cold that at some of the tram stops and bus stops, there were bonfires lit, special street fires um, to keep people warm. And I think it was a day when the schools were closed and the children didn't go to school because it was so cold. So I put on all the clothes that I had, all the scarves and sweaters, and I took the tram to the outskirts of the town where my friends lived. 
and I got off the tram, which was heated, into this cold, white world. And um, it was so cold that when you breathed in, little balls of ice formed in your nostrils. You had to keep your scarf over your mouth and nose. Well, Anna is talking about the other extremes. While um, the previous story was about hot weather, it was about extremely cold weather, right, in Russia. 러시아의 그 추위는요, 진짜 역사적으로도 유명하죠. 그래서 나폴레옹이 러시아를 정복하지 못한 이유? Because of the cold weather, right? And she experienced this cold weather in Russia. Ooh. Okay, uh, why don't we go to number one? Number one으로 한번 가보도록 하겠습니다. Where was she? Uh, where was she? 어디 있었죠? She was in a small town in central Russia. 그 중앙 러시아의 uh, small town, 조그만 마을에서. So she said that um, the time that I was very, very cold was a time when I was working in Russia, in a small town in central Russia, right? So she was in central Russia. And number two, number two, what was the temperature? It was extremely cold. How cold? Well, um, okay, uh, according to what she said, uh, 여기서 얘기한 거에 의하면, and on the day of the visit, she was visiting her friends, and uh, on the day of the visit, um, it was very, very cold. It might have been minus 30. <gasps> minus 30 정도로 굉장히 추웠었대요. Wow. And it was about minus 30. That can be your answer. But, you know, 끝까지 잘 들어보세요. It could be minus 30, but it might have been minus 30, but it might have been colder than that. So your answer should be minus 30 or quarter. Okay, so you have to put the letter part like, you know, minus 30 or quarter. Okay, and number three, what did she do that was stupid or silly? Uh -huh. What did she do? Well, her friends were kind of worried about her and they said, oh, I'm, we're worried about you getting lost. So why don't we go and pick you up at the tram stop? And she said, oh, don't worry, don't be silly. I, she want to be independent. Independent 하면은 독립적인 이라는 뜻이죠. So she wanna, wanted to be independent and she, she said, don't be silly, I'll find it. 내가 찾을게. That's, that's what she said. 그리고 혼자서 이제 그 친구네 집을 찾으려고 이제 갔었던 거죠. So this is what she did and which was very, very stupid, right? Okay. So uh, she wanted to be independent. 그래서 so she told her friends she could find their home. No problem. 문제가 없다라고 얘기했어요. But she should have let her friends pick her up at the tram uh, tram station, right? Tram station is all. 어, 그 친구들이 그 데리러 오게 해야 했었는데 그죠? 왜냐면 she got through difficult situation, right? Trying to find her friend's house. Okay. And now we go to the next question, number four. What kinds of transportation did she use? Well, I already mentioned tram, tram stop or tram station. So uh, tram, 전차자, tram. So she used tram as a major transportation, okay? And number four. Uh, uh, number five, we have to go to number five. Where was, to, where was she going to and why? Well, she wanted to visit her friends. 친구네 집에 가고 싶어 했었잖아요, 그죠? So, um, well, uh, listen to this part. 이 부분 한번 들어보세요. Number five 해당되는 부분이요. Hmm. I was going to see some friends who lived on the outskirts of the town. You know what outskirts is? In the suburbs, right? In the suburban area. In the suburban area is 외곽이죠, 도시 외곽을. There are two ways that you can express this on the outskirts of blah 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 or in the suburbs of blah 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 okay uh, but you know different propositions are used in its case uh, 첫 번째 outskirts and on the outskirts 하지만 uh, 그 외곽 근교라고 할때 in the suburbs 라고 쓰인다는 거 여러분 기억하시고요 okay so her friends were living on the outskirts of the city so she was going to visit her friends there right so 그게 이제 바로 이, uh, what's her name? Anna가 이제 그 가고 있는 곳이었어요. So we solved the five questions. 다섯 문제를 쭉 풀었는데요. Why don't we solve the rest four questions after listening to the latter part of the story? Okay, are you ready? About a minute, two minutes after getting off the tram, 
My feet and hands were already hurting, they were so cold. So I was walking around trying to find the house, but it was completely anonymous, this, this landscape. There were these huge snow-covered white blocks, these buildings, 15 or 16 floors, but they all looked exactly the same. And I couldn't find the name of the street either, and it was very, very quiet, and the tram had gone. Um, and I began, actually, to get very frightened because I was feeling so, so cold. Um, my feet and hands had gone beyond hurting almost. I couldn't feel them anymore. Um, it was pretty difficult to breathe because of the icy scarf over my mouth and nose. I just couldn't find where they lived. And I asked an old lady the way, but my Russian wasn't good enough. She didn't understand me. And I was beginning to really seriously panic when suddenly, in the distance, I saw my friends. They'd come to find me and they took me home. Why don't we go to number seven? Uh, number seven is this. Um, who did she mean? Was this person helpful? Well, she met an old lady to ask the way, but she could not make herself understood because she could not speak English and Anna could not speak Russian. Anna the Russian she could not understand what she was saying, right? Okay, so she was not helpful is the answer. And uh, number eight, how did the temperature how how did the temperature affect her? Well, uh, how do you think the factor her feet and you know her body hands were beyond hurting? What does that mean? 더 이상 아프지도 않아요. Because they were numb. You know what numb is? N U M B 무감각해요. So uh, her her hands and her feet went beyond hurting, and she could not feel them. 뭐그 감각이 없었어요. And she could not breathe because of the cold scarf, icy scarf on her mouth and nose. She could not breathe. Mm. Okay, and the last one, number nine, what happened in the end? Well, luckily, when she was about to panic, 완전히 그 경악할 때, 경악하려고 막 공포에 지르려고 할 때, uh, from a distance, <laughs> and the distance she uh, saw her friends, uh, they, uh, they came to find her in the station. So, luckily, uh, they took her home. Okay, so this is the end of the story. Happy ending, isn't it? Mm. 어려운 일이 있었지만 그래도 <웃음> 해피 엔딩으로 끝나는 그런 스토리가 되겠네요. 오케이, okay, 자 이렇게 엑스트림한 경험 여러분들 뭐 한두 개씩은 있으실 텐데요. 네, 그런 것들을 교훈 삼아서 다시는 오케이, okay, never, don't make the same mistakes, never, never again. 오케이, okay? all right. Uh, that's uh, that's it for today. 오늘은 여기서 정리를 하도록 하겠습니다. I will see you next time. Bye bye.